Big news in the EV world, Elon Musk and company made a number of important announcements the other day. They're working on a supercar rivaling Model S sedan that'll be able to go from zero to 60 in less than two seconds. Tesla is also developing a new, more affordable vehicle, and there is plenty of tech to talk about. Here are the biggest announcements from Tesla Battery Day. First up, plaid. And I'm not talking about checkered fabric, though Tattersall is my favorite. The upcoming Tesla Model S Plaid promises to deliver supercar performance, like I said, zero to 60 in less than two seconds. It should also annihilate the quarter mile in less than nine. That is organ scrambling speed, folks. Now the Plaid supposedly has more than 1100 horsepower and an all electric driving range in excess of 520 miles. And it sounds like somebody's pretty pissed about that new Lucid Air sedan that's coming out because it has very similar specs. Big announcement number two from Battery Day, Elon Musk touched on some future product. We, you know, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. Hmm, an affordable Tesla. Weren't they, weren't they already trying to offer a car like that? I don't remember. Anyway, Muskie did not show a picture or video of this car and they certainly didn't name it. So all we really know about it right now is that estimated price tag, but let's hope they can actually deliver this time. Next up, battery news, and there is a lot to unpack here. Now, if Tesla's ever going to offer an affordably priced car, it is gonna to have to drive down the cost of its battery packs, because remember, EVs, they don't run on triple A's. Thanks to a new cell design, revised chemistry, advanced manufacturing techniques, and integrated vehicle designs, the automaker is looking to slash the cost per kilowatt hour by 56%, which is huge. Tesla's newest cell design has eliminated electrical connector tabs, which improves thermal performance, simplifies manufacturing, and ultimately reduces cost. New battery chemistries are being explored, and this is all way beyond my understanding, but here's what they're doing at a very high level. By switching to silicon for the anodes, which is super abundant, they save money, plus it can store nine times more lithium than graphite, at least according to Tesla. And yes, there are certain challenges to working with silicon, but they say it can provide a 20% boost in driving range, which is also a huge deal. On the cathode side of the battery, they're doing a lot of work with nickel, and if all of their math pencils out, that could result in a 15% reduction in the cathode cost per kilowatt hour, which is a mouthful. In the future, Tesla sees three potential cathode chemistries for three different applications. Now, an iron-based mix is supposedly good for stationary energy storage and medium-range vehicles. A nickel-manganese combo could be ideal for medium-plus driving ranges. And finally, high nickel cathodes would be best for large, high-range applications like the Tesla Semi and, of course, the Cybertruck. Beyond all that, engineers are also working on structural battery pack designs. By making these large components a stressed part of the vehicle structure, they can reduce mass, increase vehicle range, and actually improve safety by repositioning the individual cells. It's pretty cool stuff. On the material side of this very complicated battery equation, Tesla plans to localize manufacturing here in North America by building a dedicated manufacturing facility. They will also tap into local sources of lithium and nickel, reducing the miles these materials travel by a whopping 80%. Tesla has obtained the rights to more than 10,000 acres of a lithium clay deposit in Nevada, and it sounds like they'll be taking advantage of that going forward, mining it in a very responsible way. And then the, the nature of the mining is actually, I think, also very environmentally uh, sensitive in that we, we, we sort of take a chunk of dirt out of the ground, or remove the lithium, and then put the chunk of dirt back where it was. So, it will look pretty much the same as before. Uh, and it will not look like terrible and yeah, it will be nice. <laughs> Finally, I just mentioned everyone's favorite all electric pickup, the Cybertruck. Mr. Musk during his battery day yammerings also let it slip that they've had some 600,000 pre-orders for that ungainly shaped vehicle. That's a lot, though surprisingly it does jive with an unofficial third party estimate that was made earlier in the year. And I guess a lot of folks just can't wait to drive around in a four wheeled doorstop. 
There you go, those are the biggest news nuggets from Tesla Battery Day. From advanced manufacturing to new chemistries to an affordably priced upcoming car, there is a lot going on here, and it's gonna put Tesla in a pretty good spot going forward. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out my recent video on the new 2021 Toyota Sienna minivan. I think it's pretty good, though the burns are still healing. Ouch.